went out for a bike ride with the grandson Henry. Um, it was on Monday the sixth of July, about three o'clock in the afternoon. We just left the uh, the ride and this mountain, the uneven ground caused me to lose my footing, and um, the bike landed on top of me. Um, that was basically what happened. Um, obviously, there was some discomfort and pain. Um, I treated the thing as best I could, just put in cold water and um, kind of splint. Um, thinking it would get better, it didn't. And by late evening, the um, pain was getting uh, quite intense and um, took some painkillers. Uh, thinking it would be better the next day, Overnight, again, apparently this wasn't just a sprain. Um, the pain intensified by seven o'clock uh, to the morning. I phoned uh, 111. After explaining what had happened, I was told to contact Victoria Hospital, Wimborne. Uh, spoke to Victoria Hospital, Wimborne. Um, by 8 30, was in the treatment room and being given a specific time slot. Because of COVID 19. Yeah, we had to follow the sort of lockdown procedure. Um, so when I arrived, somebody was met, I was met in the car park and taken into the uh, hospital, uh, it's called the hospital, and then went through to the clinic. Well, I think it was about six or nine months ago. I did a similar kind of thing, but on a, on a, a machine I've got, and, it, and I had to go to the hospital. And again, it, I went to the Wimborne Hospital. At first, I went to the Pool Hospital. Um, a, a finger got infected after I cut it quite severely, and uh, went through the similar kind of procedure, but obviously outside of COVID nineteen. Um, so yeah, so within the last year, I've, I've had the same kind of experience. Yeah, well. Uh, one, 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 sort of set the thing up, um, and I phoned the hospital by eight o'clock as soon as they opened it uh, on the Tuesday morning, and they fortunately had a, a, a spot at eight thirty and uh, thereabouts, and I went straight along, so it couldn't have been any quicker. They they took an X-ray, obviously, first of all. Um, the results of the x-ray, the, uh, the senior nurse reset the finger and um, had another x-ray done. And the hand dressing uh, nurse was there at the same time. And she said, uh, they gave me a temporary dressing and said, basically, come back later in the day. Um, I think it was about to say 5, 30, 6 o'clock. And um, they put the finger in a plaza of cars. Um, so that was all done in one day, which was very, very good. Uh, that evening, when I had it put in the cast, um, the nurse, Sarah, she um, gave me some uh, exercises to do. So but my exercises were all done at home. Um, she made it, she arranged to sort of get in touch two weeks later, which I did do. And um, so, it, yeah, it all worked out very well. Um, I, I think the, the, the first, having the finger reset there and then, was great rather than having to sort of because had the nurse senior nurse not been able to reset it uh, and, it, and it's been it's 24 hours or less before it was reset the longest left the more difficult it is to reset it and um, she said if i can't get the finger in then you'll have to go to pool and they'll, they'll be more serious so um she actually got it set in so that was much the biggest plus was you know, the instance, you know, I've had a dislocated shoulder before and things like that, and um, I've had a lot of injuries, so the sooner it's sort of sorted, the better. Yeah, I think everything I wanted 
to have done, they did. And I couldn't have asked for any more. They gave me as much attention as, um, as the injury deserved, to be honest. Everyone, you know, from, from day one to day 20, they were, they were all spot on. They couldn't have been better. Hello, my name is Sarah Wastel. I'm a senior occupational therapist that specialises in hands and I work at Wimborne Hospital. Uh, my caseload will, will be a mixture of hand patients, some patients that have had hand surgery or have got long-term hand conditions, uh, but a large proportion of my caseload is patients from the minor injuries unit. The minor injuries unit had quite a few changes. They took on the Blanford minor injuries um, unit. They extended their hours um, to seven day working and they started working from eight till eight. So they were providing um, a bigger service for patients in our community. Um, they also started triaging all patients. So patients were phoning in um, as the patient in the story um, referred to. I'm the only hand therapist in the trust and set, so the only hand therapist at Wimborne Hospital. Um, but I was actually redeployed during the lockdown. So at the beginning of March, I was told I had a couple of weeks to wind down all my patient list um, and that I was then redeployed up to the ward at Wimborne Hospital where I worked for three months. He was one of the first patients I saw when I came back from my redeployment into the um, hand unit. So for him, it was a benefit because if I hadn't have been here, if he'd come up two weeks late before, sorry, then he would have had to have gone to Paul for his therapy and treatment and had to attend Paul Hospital. Um, obviously, um, now I, when I see patients, I um, have to go out to the car to collect them. We have a one-way system um, in the hospital so that they come in through the front of the therapist and go out the, the back door. Uh, again with a the therapist. I'm obviously now wearing full PPE when I'm treating patients. Um, for me that was a challenge because I'm making splints for patients. Um, he referred to sort of a, a bandage and plasters but I actually make splints. I make a number of different splints for patients depending on what their condition is and this is the type of splint that I would have made for the patient um, to support his finger um, while he was recovering from the dislocation. Um, we have a number of different ones to say this is for a thumb um, but that, as I say it's quite intricate work to make something like this and that's quite difficult with the PPE. So another challenge I found is that some of our appointments have to be by telephone um, because certain patients particularly the elderly are unable to access a virtual platform. Um, this has been particularly challenging for me because it's very difficult to ascertain exactly what's going on often um, with a patient, particularly the hand. People have a different idea of what's the back of the hand, the front of the hand, what's the knuckle, what's the side. Um, to actually even pinpoint the part of the hand we're talking about that is the problem um, it, it is difficult. So I think for the minor injuries unit, the triaging process of um, speaking to a patient on the phone and giving them an appointment, giving them a, a time slot for an x-ray for something that's worked. It's um, meant the patients are able to wait at home rather than here. Um, and it's making sure that the patients who are attending are appropriately attending the department. Um, and obviously uh, having longer hours available to patients, you know, the eight to eight, seven days a week is, is a benefit to the local community. Um, in terms of hand therapy, I do where possible, I do virtual appointments and I do see a value with those. Again, it's nice for the patient to um, be able to stay at home for their appointment and we can sort of assess, you know, whether there is a real need for them to come in for a face-to-face -face appointment. Um, I potentially can work from home, so say on sort of travel and um, numbers of people in the department. Um, so, yeah, I can see that there is a place for virtual appointments going forward.